Hello Codebase family, today we are going to take a look at how to create a toolbar in PyQt5. I'll go ahead and paste the starter code we have been using all along in this series. This is the starter code we have been using all along this series. So if you don't understand this, then it means you have not watched the previous tutorials. Link is in the description. I will recommend that you start watching it from the very beginning. All these lines of code have been explained there in detail. So we just have the my class object, which is also the window, and the title is the Qt toolbar. The geometry I've pushed it 500 in the x, 100 in the y. X is 500. That is the width, and the y is 400. The, the height of the window. Mm, and I've created a central widget also, which will house all our widgets and one layout inside the central widget, which is a VBox layout, which will allow us to arrange our items or our widgets from top to bottom in a nice manner. Then I've set the Windows central widget to the C widget we just created up there. Then this place we run our application. Let us run the application to see what we have. As you can see now, it's a blank window. It doesn't have anything in there. So that is where we have to add our toolbar and any other thing that we want to add. All the codes will come in between the central widgets and then the, the, it can be anywhere, but this is where I prefer to keep it. To create a toolbar, you just create uh, a variable which I'll call toolbar. You can call it anything. And then that is if we equal to the kill toolbar. But we have to make sure that it's imported from kill widgets. If you hover over it and you can't import it that way, make, just make sure you import it from pyqt5.qt widget, import kill toolbar. And then we can add the toolbar to the window. We'll do that by add a saying self. Uh, self, I told you in previous tutorials, I just refers to this class object, which is also the window object. So self.add toolbar which means we are adding a toolbar to the window and we want to add the toolbar we just created of course now when we run it again we didn't even see anything um, just that there was a new development if you look at your window carefully you see that there is um, a small toolbar at the top there but it doesn't have any icons that we can click on So let us add icons to our toolbar. What we will see as icons or clickables on the toolbars are called actions in PyQt. So let me rename this one to Qt Actions. And this is how we create an action. Let's say we want to create a new uh, action, so a new toolbar icon. That will be used to create a new file or something like that. We will call the kill action class. And then in here, we also have to make sure that, oh, uh, not this one, kill action. We have to make sure that we have it also imported from pyqt5.qt widget so make sure that is also imported and in here we give first the name of the action which will be new and then where to put it now you want to put it it will be an action of the window which we put on the toolbar so we will not put it in the toolbar we put it in the window itself so the self and then we can run it now, but we don't see anything. Since this is a window action, we have to add it to the toolbar so that we tell the software to add the action to the toolbar. It doesn't just display it after creating it. 
here we can add actions to toolbar and so that will be toolbar dot add action and then the action we want to add is new now when we run our application we will see the new action added to the toolbar up here it just says new and when we hover over it there's a tooltip also that comes that say new where we can click on this action and then perform some operation so we can create a connection to it that when it is clicked it should create a new object it should do this or that but what you mostly see in applications is an icon not just test that says new so in order to add icons that is also very easy but you have to make sure that you have the icons somewhere in on your computer in my case it's just inside the place where i have the python file when i open this icons directory you see copy um, the copy icon there's one for cats and just get the icons and put them somewhere you can have access to from the python file and then let's see how we can use it instead of just typing new here i'll add the icon that one i'll call the kill icon class and inside the kill icon class is where i'll put my icon but make sure that that one is also imported that one is imported from qt gui so make sure that one is also imported here i'll pass the path to the icon i want to use in my case it is inside the icons directory and i'm looking for a file called new.png if i have the icon in there like this and i run now my toolbar displays this icon i can click on it when i hover over it also it gives me the pop-up that tells me that's the new icon so if i want to change the uh, pop-up i can do so by by changing this test also here and then it will uh, adjust accordingly let us duplicate this line to create more actions so that we can add more to our toolbar this one let me name it new action So we have a couple of icons there so I can new open and we can have also save the save action for now. Okay, I think I can get rid of this one. So all we have to do is again add the actions also to the toolbar, but of course I have to change this one before. This one called open. Another one called C. And then I add those actions also to the toolbar. This one will be open action. And this one will be save. Of course, I have to change the test here also to open and then save. When I run the app now, I have to close this one before i'll see my three my toolbar with three actions or three things that i can i can click on and then since we have not connected them to any particular method or function so they will they wouldn't do anything when we click on them but we can do the connection but one thing i want you to take notice of is to the left of your toolbar you see some dots that when you hover over your mouse cursor changes to this cursor that shows you that you can move that particular window around yes we can actually move the toolbar around to fit it either to this side to the button or we can also fix it to the right side like this it just comes with the toolbar but if you don't want it to be movable, you don't want the toolbar to be movable, users to be moving your toolbar around, you can 
disable that option by saying toolbar dot set movable and then in here we just pass false it is true by default the false will just disable it for us now i i can't get it here to move it around so i just feel like creating one test edit inside the application just to make it look like a text editor so i'll create that one in down here so editor or maybe self dot editor which be text edit and then you have to make sure that that one is also imported from pyqt5.qt widget up here and then now we add this one to the main layout so main layout dot add widgets we want to add a self dot editor so now when we run the application you will see a uh, toolbar with the icons and a test edit that we can type something in so that that will be all for this video for the qt toolbar tutorials thank you for your time and i'll see you with another video